Welcome back to eFishing, and welcome back to the third part of our series on how to unspool and spool your fishing reels. So this part, we're going to talk about spinning reels. So we've got our spinning reel. We've uh, got it uh, all unspooled. It's completely clean. We've got our line. Uh, I'm going to put some 8-pound P-Line CX on there. But this reel, if you look at these reels, they'll have a thing that shows you how much line is going to be on there. So for this reel, for eight pound line, there's 170 yards line on that. We don't need that much line. So again, we're going to put some backing on it. We've got some uh, 10 pound mono that we're going to put on there. So looking at your spinning reels, they have grooves on them just like your cast casting reel has some grooves on it too. And if you look, there's two lines here. I think this is a third full, this is two thirds. And then when you look over at your lip under here, you can see this lip right here. And there's a groove on that. And when it gets to that, it's full. But generally, you don't wanna go all the way back about an eighth or 16th inch from that, and you're good. If you don't, if you go too full on them, on your spinning reels, when you open your bell, sometimes that line will just fall off on it and you got a big mess. So don't overfill your spinning reels if you learn anything from this video. So, in the last video I, on the casting reel, I used a spooling station for demonstrations purposes. It doesn't work very well for this, so I'm going to uh, put the GoPro back on, on a chesty mount. I'm gonna put this spin reel on the rod, because that's generally how it works a lot easier, and we'll go from there. So once I get all that hooked up, we'll be right back. All right, folks, we've got our, our backing line here. So an easy way to do this is to take your line and just go through the first guide here. And it'll make it a little easier for this demonstration. You can just leave it all the way through your guides. It'll work the same. So open the bell on your, on your reel. And again, we're going to Take our line and we're going to start off and we're going to make that little figure eight loop again. So we got it. And we're going to pass that tag back through that loop. So there, there's our figure eight. We're just going to pull that tight. And then we're going to clip this off flush right here. So we got a little knot on the end of our line, if you all can see that. I don't know. But anyways, you get the idea. And again, we're, gonna, we're just gonna make a loop around like this. And we're just gonna make one little overhand knot on this side right here, and this just makes a A slip knot all right and with that knot on the end of the line it won't pull through so like that and now we got a loop that will slide so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our loop and i like to go on the very bottom of my spool y'all can see that and i'm going to pull that like that right there and that's going to be tight. So there we go. Our line is now connected to our spool on our spinning reel. And we're just going to close the bell like that. And now we're going to, here's the important thing. We're going to look to see which way our bell, our, our bell here is turning around. So this one is turning clockwise around the spool. You see that? It's going this way. We want to look at our spool here and we want our line to come off just like it's going on. So our spool here, see where's the, the end of it at? You can see it's coming off the same way 
coming off the clockwise like that, just like it's coming off going on to our reel. And that's the important thing about not getting twist into our lines. We're going to start winding this on here. So, and here's another thing you can do. After you do this a few times, if you take your line and you stop and you lay it down and there's no twist in it, you see that? There's no twist in this line. You're doing good. If you turn it over and start, watch this. I want to do it a few times. Now watch this when I lay it down. See how it starts to curl up? If I keep doing that, Well, it's not doing it. Well, maybe I'm going the right way. Let's see what happens. Yeah. See how that's twisting like that? That means you got it the wrong way. So all you do is flip it back over and keep an eye on your spool here. We're going between the first and second, so we just got a little bit more backing to put on. And if we look at our spool here, we can see we're past the first, the first line on our spool. So we're between a third and a two thirds full of this spool. spool. So we're gonna go a few more turns and then we're gonna put our main line on. I think that's gonna be good. So see how this line has got a little twist in it now? So when we cut this, show you a little trick to get some of that twist out. You take it and you just pull on it, it'll get some of that twist out for you. But this isn't bad. If you take it and it doesn't curl up, you're good to go. So we're gonna pull that back through there And now we're ready for our uh, main fishing line. I'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back with our main line. And we're going to connect this the same as we did on the casting reel video. We're going to use an Alberto knot for that. So here is our backing line. Here's our main line. So we're going to take our main line and we're just going to make a loop in it, okay? We're going to take our backing, the end of it, and we're going to pass it through that loop. All right, we're going to get enough that we can work with here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hold, pinch that between our fingers and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five times, and then we're gonna pinch that, okay? With our left hand. So here's what we got so far. We've gone through and we've gone five twists around. Now we're gonna take our end and we're gonna go five twists back. There we go, we're gonna go one, two, three, four and it helps if you hold each one of those twists just so it doesn't come undone and then our last one is five all right and we're going to look to see which way line went through and we want to take our tag in here and go back out the same way our line went in oops we missed a hole try that again so there we go That's our knot. And you can see the line goes in and out in the same way. Now we're gonna wet this. And once it's wet, we're just gonna start pulling the main lines and it's gonna to come together just like, just like so. And that's a pretty small knot. 
and it's strong. So we're going to take our clippers, clip that as close as we can without clipping the knot. Same way on the other end of the knot. Clip that down. All right, now we're ready to spool our line on. Make sure it's coming off clockwise. Hold it up here. And our knot's gonna come on. And there's our knot right there. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna. And now we're just gonna spool our reel here real quick. So now that we've done it a couple times, we're gonna hold it down. Oh, we got a little twist. So let's turn it over. Done a few more. So now, see how we don't have any twist? We're good to go. Oops. And let's do this till we get full. Let's see where we're at. You can see our line right here. We've got just a little bit more. Can you see that? Our line right there is where we want to fill it to. Just to it, not past it. Keep looking a little bit more. There we are. You can see. at the line so this spool we can might just do a few more and I'll see if it'll overfill it and I'll show you what happens when you overfill it so when you see that's past the line now so if you open your spool up and you start shaking it don't have any line so we're just at the point of it being full so let's overfill this spool for demonstration purposes so now we're full if we open it up I can get it to where I can shake it if you can shake it and it don't come off then it's probably good It's still a little fuller than I like it to be, but we'll put it a little bit more on there and just see what happens. See how it comes off like that? See how that line's falling off? That means it's too full. See, so watch it come off. It just shoots on off of there real bad. But anyways. I'm going to get this fixed up and we'll be right back. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up our uh, series on unspooling and spooling your reels. We've covered how to unspool your casting reels, your spinning reels, spooling your bait casters, and now sp spooling your spinning reels. Uh, so I hope this has uh, helped you all out, gained a few tips. Uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell for notifications. and. Um, We'll see y'all here in a little bit. Uh, we'll be out on the lake next time catching some fish. We're out. All right, so you got some twist in your line. What do you do about it? Well, keep pulling this on out to 
where it's all in your one oops Wind this up till you get to that, and then take your rod and go back and forth like a whip. And sometimes all that twist magically comes out. I don't know. It works. Don't know how, but it does. Last spinning rod tip for the day. Out.